Welcome back, friends, to another weekly video. I want to continue our discussion about depreciation. So last week, I made a video about depreciation and talked about the general idea. Well, this week, I want to give you a depreciation example. When you talk about depreciation, there are two main concepts you need to understand. Depreciation uses accrual accounting, and depreciation expense is a non-cash transaction. Let's start by talking about accrual accounting. Now, I've talked about accrual accounting before. In fact, I have a whole video on accrual accounting, and I'll leave the link for that in the description box down below. Accrual accounting means that you record revenues and expenses in the period they occur. This highlights the biggest problem with capital assets, because capital assets, by very definition, are multi-year assets. We're talking about 10 years, 30 years, 40-year assets that you're going to use for a very long time, and yet you're required to release a set of financial statements each and every year. Well, how are you going to describe these assets each and every year when you're going to use them for 40 years? Well, the way you do that is through depreciation. Let's use a simple example. Imagine you bought equipment for $100,000 that you're going to use for five years. We're going to use straight line depreciation just to keep things simple, although there's many different methods you can use out there. If you use straight line depreciation, you would use $20,000 of that investment each year for the next five years. So you're taking a multi-year asset and splitting it up so you can report on it each year. Now take this example and imagine you didn't use depreciation. You would not be using accrual accounting in this case you would record massive amounts of expense in year one. Well, that's not really accurate because you're using that asset for the next five years. Year two through five would also not be accurate because you're, rec you're reporting no expense at all. The second point is that depreciation is a non-cash transaction. Now, this is very important to understand because we are usually talking about very large amounts of money here that are being recorded as an expense but no money is being exchanged between partners here. This expense only exists in what accountants are writing down in their books. This is the big difference between cash accounting and accrual accounting. Let's go back to the example. So in year one, you spent $100,000. This is when the cash actually exchanges hands, but the accountants only recorded $20,000 worth of depreciation expense. In year two, no money exchanges hands, but you record another $20,000 worth of depreciation expense. So there's a significant difference between what is happening with the cash and what is being recorded as an expense. So this is where every accounting student raises their hand and asks the question, well, if there's no cash involved, why are we even doing this? And that's a fair question because depreciation is a lot of work. So just imagine a big company. I mean, a big company is going to have a bunch of different buildings. It's going to have a lot of different equipment. It's going to have vehicles. Each one of these items is going to have its own individual depreciation schedule that you're going to have to keep track of and roll up into a set of financial statements. Well, that is a lot of paperwork. You're going to have just one person sitting there dedicated to calculating your depreciation expense. And so the question is, if no money is even exchanging hands, why are we even doing this? There is a really good reason for why you calculate depreciation expense. Remember that your job as an accountant is to go into a business and organize the financial information of that business. Well, the way you do this is through writing a set of financial statements every year. Depreciation expense is the tool that you use to communicate what is happening with your capital assets. And remember, capital assets are very important purchases for your business. We're talking about enormous amounts of money. And so if you don't calculate depreciation expense, you are grossly misrepresenting what is happening with your capital asset. The big benefit of depreciation expense is a lot of valuable information that you're then able to share with all of the stakeholders of your organization. 
on what is happening with your capital assets. I'm Zach from Wolfson Finance. Let's go out and make some money.